Welcome back to The Coily Code. I'm Charnel and welcome to all of my viewers. I'm so happy to have you here today. Some months ago, I had all the way in January actually, the first part of this year, I had recorded this video about some of the habits that I would no longer be doing in my natural hair routine or regimen. And I think it had a lot to do with my styling at the time I was doing wash and goes and so a lot of what I was doing was conducive to really good wash and goes but now that a lot of time has gone by I want to look back and see what things I have continued to do and what I've kind of stopped doing and if that makes me a hypocrite I don't think it does I mean you're allowed to change right so I have my laptop here and I will be sure to share it on the screen for you guys so that you can watch along with me all right let's jump right in a few things that I'll be leaving in 2022 and things that I will no longer be doing in my I kind of miss my wash and goes. routine. Now, if you've watched my recent video, there's a lot of things okay, I'm going to skip. Anymore, so oh, never mind. I'm about to start recording. The first thing that I will be Xing out of my hair care routine is air drying. With all the research I've done, air drying. Actually, I do air dry now because there's no reason to although you could actually set your mini twists or your mini braids your cornrows under a hooded dryer to at least stop the hair from shrinking because even though people were talking about how damaging air drying can be to the hair strands i haven't had that kind of damage and i know they talk hair weathering so but look our ancestors the people in the bible nobody had blow dryers okay so the air it's nothing wrong with it god made us he designed our hairs to, to do that so i don't have a big fuss about air drying anymore regarding that but i will say that air drying can be damaging to my hair because of the shrinkage so my hair shrinks a lot and so even if i've air dried for an hour my hair is still shrinking as long as there's moisture still in there <laughs> my hair is still shrinking and so i find that if you want to prevent single strand knots fairy knots and those kind of things on your ends maybe setting the mini twist or even the mini braids or cornrows to set those in so that they stop moving that may be a good way but i am totally air drying now so although i may decide to do the i'll see what i feel like it all right i'm skipping ahead now to the next one i won't be air drying anymore the second thing i'm minimizing in my routine is blow drying my hair so i use blow drying my hair yeah, I don't blow dry my hair still, so that's that's definitely still something I, I don't do. I will plan on blow drying my hair at the end of the year to do a trim. But yeah, I don't blow dry my hair. Skipping ahead. So, the third thing that I'm also cutting back but not avoiding completely is detangling with tools. Now, my fine hair... So, I do exclusively finger detangle. But I will say that between the meltdown of a hair fail I had last week, I did have to use detangling combs and tools to get most of the tangling out. We'll use the detangling tools when I'm protein treating my hair. So I pretty much stuck with this. I haven't rid my entire regimen of detangling tools just yet. I do think that a comb is important or a detangling brush is important to have when you have tightly coiled hair. I just don't have the precision and the t many teeth of a comb to get rid of all my shed hair. So I will take it through my hair every quarter, you know, when I do my protein treatment. So that's pretty, that's still on par. I would say the fourth thing that I will not be doing is putting any product on my scalp, whether it's oil, whether it's grease, mm. or... Yeah, that's changed. <laughs> I am definitely putting product on my scalp now. One thing I will say, the Royal Oils conditioner does direct you to put it on your scalp. And I felt, I feel that that is actually improving the condition of my scalp as of right now. So I, 
I've used both the shampoo and conditioner now for two times and so far I do see a big change in my hair and my scalp especially. I'm not as itchy and fussy after a week and my scalp is not itching right after I've finished washing it. When I was doing a wash and go there was no need to do that because I was washing my hair every four days. Granted that's not the original Anthony Dickey method but I modified it because my wash and go looked so good after four days I didn't want to be in my hair so much so I didn't need to put product in my on my scalp so this has more to do with cutting down the time of my wash days because doing wash and goes you have to wash your hair more often so I'm on a right now three to four day schedule and so I won't be doing hot oil treatments or any long pre-poo pre-poo treatment yeah. is what I'm trying to say. So I do pre-poo now because after having my hair in a protective style for two weeks, four weeks, however long I'm able to go, my hair needs a lot of the pre-poo treatment to just get it moving, to get rid of shed hairs, to get some protection from like shampoos because I do use cleansing shampoos and so a pre-poo helps create kind of a, a reinforcement for the hair I find for me but yeah I do pre-poo I have not done an oil treatment though and I know I'm not using the curl smith bond salve thing anymore I do pre-poo and it's usually with a conditioner I will try to do my deep conditioning before I go to shampoo and then I put the conditioner rinse out and that's it to keep it very short because pre-poo is an extra step it does extend that wash day so yeah I definitely do pre-poo now <laughs> And I use also a tea rinse. So yeah, that, that has changed. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say. Well, now this, this goes, goes into my last thing, thing that I'm not protein treatments. Skipping, skipping protein, protein treatments. treatments. Yeah. So, so I do. Yeah, so I, I don't skip protein treatments. I have been doing them faithfully now for about three cycles. And so that's been very helpful. And I think that's been part of the recovery efforts too of my my failed setback or my setback I should say and so yeah I actually have not skipped pre uh, protein treatment so from the sounds of it for the last six months I do air dry now I don't blow dry I do detangle with tools sparingly um, I am putting oil on my scalp. I am greasing my scalp or putting product on my scalp. I am pre-pooing and I'm also not. So I pretty much stuck to two out of the six. So that's pretty good. I'm, I'm, that's pretty good. So anyway, you guys, let me know if you guys do any of the following that or if there is something you, you started doing in the beginning of the year and you have stopped since and tell me why. I want to know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.